video, we are going to learn about crossfade transition. And this is a feature I didn't even realize is in Svelte. And what it lets us do is basically move things from one to do to another in a nice transition. So right now it just snaps right into place. It disappears immediately, goes there. But we want to have a nice um, flying transition where it flies into wherever it's supposed to go. So let me show you how to do that after we look at the code. So it's very simple. We just have a to-dos list, a dones list. And when I click the button, it will be moved from one list to the other. Okay, and then it's just showing each list down here within each block. Okay, so to do this, we're going to import crossfade from svelte slash transition. And then it's a little bit different in that we need to do something like this. So we're going to have a send and a receive equals crossfade. And don't forget to put an empty object just as the default. We'll add in some parameters later. So basically, this will give us a send and a receive, just like that. And then down here on our objects, we can say in receive out send. And we'll put that right here. So basically, when a um, when something is removed from the list, it'll send it out and it'll look for something that is receiving. And it'll be like, oh, you're receiving. So it'll look for the thing that was just sent and to see if it was received over here. Uh, and then one thing you have to add as well, um, although it seemed to be working before, yeah, they, I don't know why, but you should have to add a key as well. So for example, to do here and a key here, done. So basically, this is just saying this is a unique way to ident identify this object, or whatever, that's being sent. Um, so for example, if I added another dance, it's not going to work because um, these are basically identical, dance and dance. It doesn't know which one is actually being removed or added because they have the exact same name. But we will fix that in a second. Anyway, uh, as you can see, it now flies into place like that. Okay, that's crossfade. That's basically it. But I'm going to show you a few more things. So for one, we don't like this little snapping motion. So really easily, we can just import uh, flip from svelte slash animate. And flip is something that also needs this key, which we already have. And we're going to say animate flip. And here, animate flip. So I have another video on anime flip, if you want to look that up. But what that does is moves these nicely into place. So if these get reordered in a list, it'll move around. OK, so now it looks much better. And you can use this on any project where you have something like this. Impress your boss. Uh, finally, not quite finally, but another thing is we want to fix that issue with, um, let's say we have, like, we want to dance twice today, OK? So we have this key is basically the same. So what we can do is just turn these all into objects. So name this and name this. Uh, let's skip these here just to speed things up. Name this. OK, and then down here, we're just going to say to do dot name. Done dot name. Okay, now we can have duplicate strings. So now this will work. Okay, and the reason is down here, basically if we have dance equals dance, they are the same. That's true. But if we have two objects, they are not equal to each other. That's false. Okay, so these two objects are not the same. And that's how you can get around uh, having two with the same name. Okay, finally, I should have done this before, but um, we want to have a fallback. Okay, so let me go back. Sorry, I... Um, okay, back to where we were. We got this right here. And we want to fall back. So let's say after it gets to done, I want to click it and remove it. So let's basically, let's not add it back into do. So now if I click it, it leaves. OK, we, ha we have another snappy thing happening where there's no animation. So to uh, uh, address this, we can import something like scale and put that as a fallback in our crossfade. Fallback scale. Cool. So now basically, when it sends it out, if it can't find anything that's receiving, um, it'll just leave like that. It'll use this transition right here. Okay, and then besides fallback, you can also do stuff um, like normal transitions. You can have a duration, make that really long. So now it's going to take longer, 2,000 seconds to fly over. You can have a delay and an easing function. Okay, last thing I just want to point out is this seems to only work if you are in one component. So if I had another component and I was moving stuff between lists with like a store or something between components, it's not going to work as far as I can tell. So you need this. It's just going to, when it sends it out, it's going to look inside your component for something that is receiving, but it won't look in other components. 
uh, I believe. Okay, and I think that is all for crossfade. It's pretty fun. If you ever come across something like this, I'll try to make a video where I show like a more practical example of uh, when I would be doing this. But for now, that is all. Let me know if you've used this before uh, or if this is new to you as well. And have a wonderful day.